Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do some Kydex tests because recently I was talking about wanting to make some armour from Kydex. So if you don't know what Kydex is, it's a thermoplastic that comes in pretty much any colours, different thicknesses that can be moulded around things. So I thought it might be good for leg armour and arm armour. So I'm going to test it using air rifles and crossbows and some other things. So the first test will be 12 foot pound air rifle shooting at around 10 meters using those pointed pellets you just saw. So I may have marred this first test straight away by having the Kydex up against the Kevlar vest there but I think it still would have penetrated if it could have. But as you can see there, 2 mil Kydex actually stopped the pellets. Uh, but just in case the Kevlar vest behind was making a difference. I've done the re, I've redone the test straight away with the Kydex actually up against an empty cardboard box, and as you can see, that two mil Kydex still stops it. That was two pieces that didn't actually crack there, and I couldn't use the bit I had a minute ago. So the two mil Kydex did stop the uh, two two pellets. The, the bottom cracked there, but that's on the edge, and I suspect you could just reinforce the edge of these with a piece of metal if you wanted to anyway. So, 2 mil Kydex will actually stop pellets. So the next thing I thought I'd use the standard bolts and the Horizon 80 pound pistol crossbow. This is slightly closer than the air rifle, but all the rest are the same distance, 10 meters. I just wanted this one to be in shot. And you can see there, at 2 mil Kydex stopped the bolt again. Again, I don't know if it's because of how I had it set up, but I can always redo these tests. And most of the tests I just... Uh, I wanted an initial idea of what this um, Kydex could withstand. But yeah, it did stop the, the lightweight pistol crossbow bolts. Uh, I'll probably redo these, but this, as I said, it's just an initial test to see how it goes. So now I thought I'd do knife tests, and I did notice that the way I had this set up, it was making a bit of a difference, because when I tried it a different way, doing it this way, the codex was actually stopping the knife a bit, but I don't think I was getting very good strikes in. So I put the codex on the floor, and you can pretty much stab straight through it. But I never really wanted this for stab protection anyway. I want I want the Kydex to be able to be an initial um, thing for the armour to so you can build upon it. Because the Kydex very easily moulds and you can mould it to your body parts. So that's what I wanted it for. It's in fact it's it's a massive bonus that it can stop the crossbow bolts and the pellets. But that's not essential. All I really need to know is um well, all, I, all that really mattered was to just test it and see, and if it did do it, that was a big bonus. So yeah, I think Kydex is definitely a viable option for making custom fit armour for your legs and arms that you can build on top of to make it stronger. What this armour is essentially for is impact resistant armour, really. The fact that it could stop other things could be a massive bonus so yeah it's just initial tests really and now I know that it can do it I can build upon and actually have a go at this all right thanks for watching see you later right, before you leave if you ever wanted to support this channel you can now via patreon or by shopping at amazon.com and gearbest there's more info below if you need that remember if you want to get full notifications for this channel click the bell and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.